Okay, so we're going to be doing our chain and sprockets on our bike. Um, first off, then we're going to start with we're just prepping everything. So I'm going to get the uh, front cover loosened off where the front sprocket is. And we can loosen that off. Here's a quick tip for you as well actually, um, whilst doing taking out the bolts, because they're different sizes, to help you so you don't lose saying, lose their place, um, you can make a couple of holes here, so just in the same diagram that they are on the plate, uh, and then you can put them in the same holes, that way then you won't lose which size bolt, bolt goes in where. Right, moving the gear changer, uh, I've already loosened the bolt off. Um, you do need to remove the bolt first before it'll come away. Uh, it sits in a groove, and then the best way don't lose it, just push that, screw that back in, and then you won't lose that one. Then you can just hang loose the cover, it should just come away nicely. I'm going to hang that up out of the way. What I will be doing also though, as you can see there's a lot of chain grease in there. <coughs> a lot of chain grease uh, and I'll be cleaning all that up uh, just so it's a bit fresher in there. Right, getting your front sprocket off. Um, I have loosened this so um, it's going to be a bit quicker for me to show you process but I kid you not I've not changed this sprocket on here before and this was very very tight on um, it doesn't need to be too tight when put on but it was on very tight there's a plenty of rag around right now you've got your front sprocket off, you'll want to uh, see my video for chain braking. Um, I bought quite a nice kit from eBay. Let's see there, if I can get it in the camera. Um, which works very well and I uh, only paid £18 for it, so bargain. Okay, so taking your wheel off, loosen your chain tension guides. Loosen your wheel off. This is to gain access to the rear sprocket. And then you need to take that nut out. So we will place the other side. Make 
your rear wheel off. Okay, where's your rear wheel away? You can then look at removing the sprocket itself from the wheel. Right, old sprocket off. New sprocket there. And you can just see how much wear you have in your old one. We're lining up. Now you see, I haven't got a lot of wear. They actually line up very well. But it's my chain that's went. So rather than just replace the chain, I'm replacing the sprockets now. Mine does last quite a while. Um, I do use a Scott oiler system. I do recommend it. And tight, hand tight up, make sure it's nice and snug, and that can go back on. I've just got to do the front sprocket first. So, we've loosened our front sprocket, we've broke our chain, we've removed our rear wheel, and now we can just remove the chain from the bike, washer, sprocket. Again, with the front sprocket, if you want to see how much wear you're getting in it, and you can line it up. With your, with your new one, and you'll see how much curvature you get on the inside groove. And they're nice, smooth. Line it up with your teeth. Wash it back on. And give us a quick wipe over. I do put any of that back on. I'm going to get that clean up in there.
Uh, so, uh, save you the ball, just washed it all off and dried it up a little bit with a cloth. And that is now all done and uh, all clean enough for me. Like I said, I don't want it too clean, not too bothered. Now it's a rebuild. So, put the sprocket on first. And on with the washer. On with the nut. And to get that tightened, I won't try it now, but uh, foot on the brake and then just get your ratchet bar in there. You're ready to get that tightened because I'd only get that tightened so far. Right, there we go. That'll do it actually. That was tight enough. I've left mine in gear, so I didn't think that would go tight enough. And I thought I'd have to wait to get the chain on, but that's tight enough. A little tap. Allen bolt in the middle. Now it's on. Nothing loose. Perfect. Get the chain on. Rivet that up. Right, don't forget to the washers. They're going to go in on each side. Get your guide on. Make sure you're lined up. So be a bit wiggling. Not on. Tying up. Feed chain through. Right. So chain fed through. Now I need to loosen up the chain tensioners so the wheel can go far forward as it needs. to 
wheel far forward so I can link the chain back up. should be it far enough forward. Yep, chains links can meet. Now we're ready to do the chain linking. Here is where you'll be thankful that you put your bolts in an order that you can then easily Locate and back in. Now all my bolts have already got loads of copper grease on them. Um, if you haven't got any copper grease on your bolts as you're putting before you put these back in, it is a must must have. Go out, buy some, because it will stop these bolts from seizing and you'll always be able to have access to stuff when you do it. Especially if you've got a reasonably new bike, because then if you keep it for years, you'll be pleased you did it. And the next person that gets your bike will also be pleased that you did it. So you need to go around all them and tighten. That goes back on. Now you need to make sure that your gear shifter is in your right position. So make sure that you're looking at that and locating this back on. So too low there, so I need to work out what position I want, which will be about there. I need to go around and tighten all that. I'll do that in a bit. So before you tighten your wheel up fully, you need to make sure your chain tension is right. So using your tensioners on the back here, and these as a guide. Pull your chain in. You can see that which notch you're on to make sure that you're getting both wheels lined up the same. Both. Check the tension. Now, I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what your chain tension will be. I'm sure someone else on YouTube can explain it better. I just know now by sort of touch. I think it's going to be like an inch or something of play. So once you're happy, the tension's good. Double check it just before you do the final tightening. And tighten your wheel up. Do everything to clean down. What's that then? You can get the excess off of the chain. So that you can give it a new coating of chain lube.
and that's it. Clean up the area and you are done. New chain and sprocket on the bike.